We're back, everyone. Welcome to another album reaction. First time listening to an album. Haven't done one of these in about a month or so. I apologize. Looks like I've just kind of fallen off the face of the earth. A, been busy with work. B, it's been really hot here, so I haven't been really incentivized to record in this room. Um, that's pretty much it, I guess. Um, I've been kind of working on other things. I'm working on my novel again. So I've been just busy with other stuff, but I realized like, you know, I need to actively focus and work on doing these reactions because that's why most people are subscribed to me and I don't want to just, you know, leave them hanging. So we're just going to truck forward with more New Order. This is Low Life. This is Low Life. Who's on the cover? It's Stephen Morris. Wow, amazing. What a nice guy. Nicest guy in rock and roll. So, Power, Corruption, and Lies. What a fantastic album. I've heard Leave Me Alone so many times since I first reacted to the album. What a great song. What a great post-punk song. Nice little kind of like new wave synth aspect to it as well. Great album. Still not super big on Ultraviolence or Ecstasy. Uh, we All Stand is okay. Uh, but I love pretty much every other song on that album. It's really solid. And this is another, it's like eight tracks on here, kind of on the longer side, um, claims on Wikipedia that this is considered to be among the band's strongest work, displaying the moment they completed their transformation from post-punk holdovers to dance rockers. So this is a much more synthy dancey kind of album, and I've heard no songs whatsoever from this album. As far as I know, I don't recognize any of these titles, so I'm really excited to hear this one because I've heard none of the songs and it doesn't look like a dancey album just from the cover. But we'll see. Uh, I guess we just jump right in, right? Love, love vigilantes, love vigilantes. Um, let's just, let's just rock. It's a very like folksy kind of song almost. So got that hooky bass. That Age of Consent guitar. Pretty solid stuff. I have a feeling that's not indicative of what the rest of the album is going to look like because there are, like, just reading this song's Wikipedia page, and like some in the reception for the album, someone says, despite panning Love Vigilantes and as an appallingly naive self parody, Steve Sutherland of Melody Maker wrote that the remainder of the album, blah blah blah. So I liked it. Um, but I don't feel like I've gotten a taste for the album yet, so we'll see what the next track has in store. The Perfect Kiss. Really high bass. It's like they have the synth be the low frequency of the bass and Peter Hook's playing like melodic stuff. That's pretty good. The hell, frogs? Shut up!
That was pretty good as well. Um, the first half, I was not sure how I felt because it kind of felt like a mess. Um, harmony wise, like they, things kind of bled together and didn't really like clash in an interesting way. However, I want to know what this instrument is. If you guys know what this instrument is, tell me. This thing? What is that thing? Because that's awesome. It might just be like crazy distorted synth or something like that, but good stuff. I like that. That was good. Just like two for two so far. Um, this time of night. I don't know why, but I'm getting Smith's vibes from this. Production is really good on this album so far. I feel like this album is rockier than the previous one. I gotta say, I'm so amazed at like the consistency of this band. Because I haven't heard anything f from, well, small caveats. I haven't heard anything from Joy Division up through New Order so far that I hate. There's a couple Joy Division songs that I don't like. You know, there's like the one or two punky ones from Unknown Pleasures that didn't turn my crank at all. But most of Unknown Pleasures... I like uh, pretty much all of Closer. I at this point love a um, couple songs off of Unknown Pleasures that I love, but like I was surprised at how little I disliked off of Movement because I was not expecting to like Movement very much. But it was pretty solid. There's a couple songs that didn't do much for me, but I didn't dislike anything. Um, didn't really dislike anything off of Power Corruption and Lies, and so far I'm liking everything off of this. Um, just these, this group of people have such songwriting prowess that it's kind of it's felt like a journey from Unknown Pleasures to this, and it's only this has only spanned like six years. It's nuts. It feels like a completely different set of people, but this one was fine. I feel like it's going to grow on me though. Because I can tell that's like, you know, the night, nighttime kind of song. Um, kind of like There Is a Light That Never Goes Out. I just have to be listening to it at the right time for it to kind of click into place. And once it's there, I'm good. And it just hasn't clicked into place yet. But uh, I dig it. Sunrise. And then we'll be halfway through. Is this Tool? Is this the new Tool album? <laughs> uh, wow, what a climactic midpoint for side one. Now let's flip the vinyl over. Uh, that was pretty solid. I don't like love it at the moment just because I wasn't quite ready for such a climactic thing. But that's pretty solid all around. Really good. Elig El Elegia? Elegia? How do you say that? I don't know. Um, so this is a song that I know is a thing. 
Um, an instrumental in A minor with a time signature of 12-8. Uh, it was written in memory of Ian Curtis. Um, elegia is Greek for elegy. Uh, the album version is just under five minutes. The full version is 17 minutes long. Um, I don't know if... Because I know New Order came out with a substance compilation. Is that on it? No. It doesn't look like it is. Which means that I'm going to have to... Should I react to this at some point? I don't know, because this, it seems like a big ordeal. I'm just going to do the five-minute one now. I'm not doing the 17-minute one now. But let me know if I should, at the very least, listen to the 17. Well, I will I will listen to the 17-minute one. Let me know if I should react to it in some form. If it's worth an extra reaction if I'm doing the five-minute one here. Just let me know. Just let me know. I'm listening to it. Well, this was used in uh, Stranger Things, five, season one, episode five. This synth is like totally responsible for the Stranger Things opening. This, this like sounds exactly very similar to it, at least. Interesting that it just fades out like that because that's obviously not the end. It felt like it was just beginning to climax into something. Interesting. It was very lovely. Um, very Stranger Things. Uh, interesting. Yeah, I'm definitely going to listen to the full one. Don't know if it'll be worth a full reaction though. We'll see. Sooner than you think. Don't rename the file. Just open it. Kind of like the first half of Perfect Kiss, it kind of sounds sort of soupy, harmony-wise. Hi, Bernard. I actually warmed up to that one quite a bit as it as it went through. It is a little long, but I think it was actually pretty fine. The beginning kind of had me worried again, like with the perfect kiss, where it's like, ah, it just kind of sounds like everything's sort of swampy and there's no real defining notes or harmonies or melodies. It's just kind of things happening and it's just a little too like pastel. It's not really hitting any arcs and valleys or anything, but Man, they're they're really good at combining synth with like these post punk rock aspects. Um, good. Two songs left. Subculture. There we go.
Um, that was probably my least favorite so far, actually. Um, mostly because of the vocals. The vocals and the lyrics, I actually didn't vibe with a whole lot. Um, good song, though, like in terms of the music and everything. I don't dislike it. I just don't like it. That's all. Last song, everyone. Face up. What have we here? Boop, 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 doop, 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 doop. This is Tool. 10,000 days. Okay, okay, that's fine. He's almost not hitting his notes. That's the album, everyone. That is Lolif. Lolifi. Interesting. It's like a... It's just like a powerhouse of solid songs. It's weird. Like, it almost doesn't have its own personality. It's like this... This is almost like just quintessential New Order in a weird way. Um, I do think it is like a perfect combo of their synth and post-punk. Just... I felt like... Power Corruption and Lies kind of steered more towards the synth. Um, and you, you had like post-punk tracks and synth tracks on that album. Whereas this is like actually sticking them together. Um, it's good. It's good. Uh, I like Love Vigilantes. Perfect Kiss was pretty cool. This time of the night, I'm probably going to warm up to that one. Sunrise kind of took me by surprise. I'll probably warm up to that one too. Elegia is lovely. I don't know how often I'll listen to that, though. Uh, Sooner Than You Think was fine. Subculture, eh. And Face Up, we'll see. Um, I liked some aspects of it. But great album. Really great album. Yeah. We're trucking along. We have, what, one, two, two more albums. I don't know if I'll do Republic. I don't know. It's hard to say. Maybe... I probably feel like, I feel like I should just to finish out the main chunk of New Order. But at the very least, two more to go. Brotherhood, the next one. Um, which is apparently just an album that's oh pretty fine and has one amazing single on it, which is the only song on it I've heard. So I know when I listen to it, I'm going to be like, yeah, they're not all as good as Bizarre Love Triangle. But what can you do when you have a song that good on your album? It's going to be impossible to match it. Anyway, thank you everyone for watching. Sorry it's been 50 years since I made one of these. I'm still trucking. I'm still going. It's just taking me a while. I'm sorry. If you want to recommend an album, there's two Google Docs in the description below. One is albums that I will be reacting to and ones that I might, um, that I'm considering. And there's another Google Doc that is albums that are frequently requested that I've already heard, such as Oasis, Stone Rose, I mean, I have done Stone Roses on here. Um, all of Radiohead, etc., etc. So if the album you want to recommend isn't in either of those two lists, go ahead and throw it in the comments, and I'll just be like, no, I don't want to do that album. And uh, I've wasted all your time. But thank you, everyone, for sticking with me. I'm at 5,600 subscribers now. It's kind of surreal. My videos are doing better than ever. Uh, so I want to thank every, each and every one of you who subscribed and is watching all of these videos, talking in the comments. I appreciate it so much. Thank you, everyone. And that's all. Bye.